In this video, I'm taking a look at a tiny little 1080p spy camera. Check out a couple of images that'll give you a lot more detail about this, and then I'll try to cover those details in discussing this. Alright, so let's talk about this really quickly. This uses Toya Smart. You probably use Smart Life. I use Toya. That's what's suggested. I've always used that app and it's free of course. So Toya, T-U-Y-A. Very simple to add the device if you want to use it with Wi-Fi. It only works with 2.4 gigahertz, not 5. That's something to keep in mind. And as you can see, it is very tiny. It's on this little ribbon. You have the actual camera body. You have your wireless antenna. You have your SD card slot. You have your micro USB power and charging. Your on and off button. And there's a little reset button. There's also ventilation. So it's kind of open right there. And then you have your battery, which is detachable. And it's 2000 milliamps in this tiny little package. And that should give you somewhere between uh, six to eight hours runtime after four hours charging. This supports as large as 128 gig in terms of the micro SD card slot, or card rather. And the audio surprisingly works quite well. The video is pretty good, except in dim or dark environments. There's no infrared, there's no night vision support with this particular camera, even though it's in the app. That's because the app, of course, has uh, multifunctionality with a lot of different uh, products. So, comes in this little box right here. Nothing too exciting. 1920 by 1080, we've already talked about, 2.4. So pretty much all the details there. They actually give you a quite generous cable in terms of charging uh, or operation. You can actually uh, run this uh, while it's charging. I don't know that it's suggested. Probably isn't, but I did test it. It did work. You have this, which is basically a little SIM tool. And that's going to allow you to push the reset button. You have this multi-language user manual. It's actually quite good. Works quite well as far as uh, helping you get things connected in case there's a problem or you don't know how to do that. And uh, the interface on the app, it's actually quite straightforward. All right, we'll take a look at the app here in just a moment. Uh, these, I'm only going to show you a couple of these because there's a whole assortment. I don't even know how well it's going to show up. Little tiny piece there. This one is considerably larger. So the little square in the center is going to allow this to pop right onto the actual camera. There's nothing in the little manual about it, but it's pretty obvious it actually pops right on. Um, you've got screenshot, record, playback, album, and photo album. And then the camera up here. And if you hit photo album, you can get different previews of videos and uh, screenshots that have been recorded. It does have motion detection capabilities. As far as the actual camera, you can kind of see right there. And you have your battery reported here at the bottom. You have audio, HD, your signal strength, and full screen all within the video. You can zoom in and out just by pinching to zoom. And if you hit the little pencil. You can go in, look at the different information and adjust your settings. There's really not a lot here. You can look at the device information. There's a few different things available, but not many. You do have your detection settings and your power management, and you can share the device. Other than that, pretty much remove the device, update the device. There's not a whole lot to it. It's a fairly basic camera, but 
for something so tiny the quality is actually not bad and the audio again pretty impressive compared to what I thought it might be so anyway I'll show you a few screenshots and you'll see uh, some where I'm a little bit closer and a little bit further away and some light and some dark where it's a little darker in the room and uh, where the lights are on and there's one audio test so you can hear the audio quality and I'll leave everything kind of standard I won't be bumping the audio or making any adjustments in edit so maybe that'll give you a little bit of an idea otherwise that's pretty much it it's just a really quick look Hello.